With Horizon published apps on demand, when I log into Horizon Client as an end user and click an application icon, the application opens in its own window on my client device. Now that application looks like it's installed on my client device, but really it's being streamed from a Horizon server farm of RDSH servers. And the application itself is not installed on any of those servers. It's actually a packaged application, packaged without volumes. And it gets attached to the server right when I click that application icon, hence on demand. In this video, you'll learn how to make it all work. But before you try this at home, here's what you need to do. For your Horizon connection server and for the Horizon agent that gets installed in the app packaging machine and in the servers in your server farm, you need Horizon version 2212 or later. Horizon 2212 was released in January of 2023. For app volumes, you need app volumes 4 version 2212 or later. And you need to have created an app package using an application that has either a start menu shortcut or a desktop shortcut. There needs to be a shortcut that the user can click because that's how the delivery process gets started. In App Volumes Manager, you have to set the package to use the current marker. That's how Horizon knows which packages to make available for application pools. First, we'll add an App Volumes Manager in the Horizon console. Go to Settings, Servers, and click the App Volumes Managers tab. Click Add and enter the fully qualified domain name to the App Volumes Manager server. Or if you're using a load balanced group of App Volumes servers, enter the name of the load balancer. Leave the default for the port and then enter the username and password for a service account that has administrative privileges within vCenter server. You should probably use the same credentials that you used when you first set up App Volumes Manager and specified the machine managers. I'm getting an invalid certificate detected message because I don't have a trusted certificate authority. If you get this prompt, click View Certificate and in the Certificate Information window, review the thumbprint of the self-signed cert and click Accept. Now we need to associate the App Volumes Manager we just added with a farm. Go to Inventory, Farms, select the checkbox for the farm, go up to More Commands, click, and select Associate App Volumes Manager. Click the drop-down and select the server name. Now a farm can be associated with only one App Volumes Manager, but the same App Volumes Manager can be associated with many farms. OK, and success. Now if you click to go to the Details page, you see it lists the App Volume server name right here. Next, we'll create an application pool. Go to Inventory, Applications. Click Add, Add from App Volumes Manager. I'll select several. Now you might see an app listed multiple times. That is because during packaging, App Volumes records all the locations that you can execute the application from. That might include locations for desktop shortcuts and install location shortcuts. Then if you want, you can edit the default IDs and display names. I'm going to add package to my display name so you can see them later. Click Submit. Now I'll entitle users. So if you are familiar with App Volumes, you know that you usually do this part in App Volumes, where they call it assigning the app to users. But with this integration between Horizon and App Volumes, you don't have to do that. You can just entitle users in Horizon. You can search for users in groups. I'm just going to search for myself. OK. Now for the fun part. As an end user on my client device, I'll start Horizon Client and log into the server. OK, see all these app icons? These are the apps I just put into that one application pool. If an icon doesn't look right, like if it just looks generic, you can go back and edit the application pool. Remember how there might have been duplicate items listed for an app? Well, if selecting one of them shows a generic icon, just try selecting a different item for a different shortcut. We'll try opening Krita first. And there it is. And see, there's a shortcut for Krita in the taskbar, just as if it were a natively installed application. And look at this. This is a Notepad++ that I packaged on a Windows 10 machine, not even on a Windows Server OS. But it's still getting delivered regardless. And it also has a taskbar shortcut. 
With App Volumes and Horizon published apps on demand, you can deliver almost any app as a published app on demand. For example, you can even deliver Microsoft Office in a package. For more App Volumes and Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.omnisa.com.